Why isn't it Wave's soft trigger event type adds a button to one or more device's video tiles? These buttons are accessible within the Wave desktop and Wave mobile apps and enable users to activate system functions and HTTP requests in a single click. I want this PTZ camera to move to an assigned preset, the fire exit of the building, when the soft trigger is activated, which could be in the event of an emergency. I'll begin by entering the rules and events engine and adding a new rule. I'll select soft trigger in the drop down for the when field and select the camera or cameras where the soft trigger button will be displayed. We can then assign users that the soft trigger will be available to. Any users that do not hold permissions which would allow the use of the soft trigger will be pointed out to you and highlighted in red. We can then name the soft trigger and select the displayed button icon. After that, you have the option to schedule times when the soft trigger will be available for use. In the action area, I'll select Execute PTZ Preset and the camera which will receive the command. You can set the interval of action or elapsed time between trigger activations here. I can now choose the PTZ preset I'd like to use for this event. With all of my soft trigger parameters set, we can now hit OK and test for function. As you can see, the button icon we've chosen to use is now being displayed at the bottom right corner of the video tile. Hovering over the button with the mouse shows the name used for the soft trigger. And clicking on it now sends this PTZ to the preset we have chosen. Keeping in mind that soft triggers can be used to manually activate any system function within WiseNet Wave, as well as any device function accessible via HTTP request, can lead to many creative use cases. To learn more about WiseNet Wave software and other exciting products, subscribe to our channel or visit us at www.hanwasecurity.com.